Disney was silent on this parental rights bill. And they waited and waited until the governor signed the bill. And they got so much pressure from the woke left that they decided to stand up in opposition of parental rights. That's offensive to any parent. You said in the House committee that Disney, quote, has now been perverted by a woke mob of liberal extremists into a laboratory of gender identity, social experimentation, in which our children are the guinea pigs. What, what do you mean specifically? Well, I started looking at some of the videos and some of their cartoons, and Gonzo has now become transgendered. Did you know that? Gonzo I, is... Gonzo from the Muppets uh -huh. is now a transgender. They're sharing these views that some parents may not be comfortable with, and it is our responsibility and our right as a parent to share those values and morals with our children. As part of a number of these bills that are going on and actions by the governor, you're also outlawing a, a bunch of math textbooks, right? Yes. Why math textbooks? That, that doesn't seem to... They started including critical race theory in math. How did they do that? I don't know, but we found it in textbooks. But I mean, what did you find in textbooks? The, specifically? Uh, the, critical race theory. But, but the, what? What did it say about critical race theory? I have not looked at the math books because it recently came out within like a week ago. Um, but th that's what they were going through, all the math books. And I think that's what's happening right now is we're uncovering like uh, years of indoctrination things that we didn't know as parents. And this notion of teachers grooming children? I mean, sure. grooming is a pretty serious charge. I think when you start to tell children, okay, we're gonna, first of all, change our vocabulary. We're gonna change pronouns, and we're not gonna have a he or she, because this person can be identified as, that is imposing your beliefs on another person. But is it imposing beliefs, or is it, or is it just telling children, here's kind of, you know, the world in which you're living and growing up in, and people can be who they wanna be? If it they're were, not saying you have to be transgender or you have to be this or that, they're just saying. No, but they're encouraging it. How are they encouraging Oh, Johnny, if you don't want to play with trucks, go ahead and, you know, play with dolls and you can, we, call, we can call you a different name. That's going beyond what I think is um, normal. I think that's grooming someone. What about the rights of the of gay teenagers or transgender youth who feel vulnerable and feel like now they're being attacked by this kind of legislation? I, I think that if you're gay or vulnerable, you don't even want to draw attention to that, um, these type of discussions. Really? I do. I do. I've talked to many people that and are gay. you think that they would rather not talk about it, not be the subject of discussion? No, I think they are, like, I like their message on love who you love. Mm -hmm. who you want to love. You used to march in gay parades, according to one of your colleagues. Not only that, but I sponsored the equality bill. Huh. Because I don't feel you should discriminate against gays, right. but I don't think that you should impose your beliefs on me right. or my children. Right. So that's the difference. They went too far. 